mill pumpkin patch. But a close Look, reveals it's more like a laboratory of Dr. Frankenstein. Here, Tony Daguerre is the scientist, and his creation is Pumpkinstein. It's not plastic, it's alive. When people see these pumpkins, what's their reaction? They're blown away. And then when they realize it's not carved, they're like, wow, that's how did you do it? And your answer is? That's a secret. <laughs> what he will say is he uses a special mold which the pumpkins grow into. Voila. There it is. His hush-hush process didn't come easily. There were many failed experiments. In fact, it took five years before Daguerre finally hit the jack-o'-lantern jackpot. This year he has orders for 250,000 pumpkin steins, with many going to Sam's Club. This is really, really unique. It's like the coolest pumpkin ever I've seen. Kids aren't the only ones getting excited. I thought it was great because you don't have to carve. Pumpkins were a natural evolution for Daguerre, an organic farmer who first shaped watermelons into squares and hearts before creating pumpkin stein. Now he's delivering a new baby. This is a skull. This is a new one for this year. Like any good parent, molding his kids, then watching them grow. Joe Fryer, NBC News, Moorpark, California. The app called Vine is shutting down. Any vines that already exist will remain. No new vines will be added. Fox 59 News stated that there are toxin in Halloween makeup. Check their website for details. Now to Demi with the sports and weather update. Bruins, I'm Demi, and I'm here to bring you the sports and weather update. Today's weather will be a high of 62 and a low of 40. Yesterday, the Colts played against the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs won 30 to 14. Lastly, over the weekend, the Golden State Warriors played against the Phoenix Suns. Golden State won 106 to 9 to 100. The Los Angeles Lakers played the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder won 113 to 96. Remember, all girls interested in playing on the girls' basketball team come out to the call-out meeting at 4 o'clock in the LGI room. Now to Davion with the interview. Have a happy Halloween. Interviewing Armand Burns about basketball season. How do you feel about basketball? I feel really strongly about it. We're putting in work, doing lots of stuff to get our conditioning up, doing things, making better players. I think it will be a great season. All right. How, do you have any ideas how the season going to go? I think the season will go great. We could go undefeated as long as we put in work, don't be lazy, do everything we need to do. Do you think seventh grade will have a good season? Yes, I do. How do you think you? How do you think your teammates will cooperate? I think I cooperate fine. They're starting to get the hang of it. I need to put in all the work that all the work that we need to make this a better team and do what we need to do. Do you know who you're going to go against the first game? Yes, we will be playing Fall Creek Valley on the first game. Why do you want to play basketball? Basketball has always been a part of my life. All right, well, that was the end of the basketball season interview. Maybe on. Clubs meet today. However, there are a couple of cancellations. Art Club will not meet today, and Robotics Club is also canceled. Finally, there will be no tutoring in the media center after school. This Wednesday, the academic pursuit teams are meeting and they are still looking for more students to participate. Join the team in Mr. Schultz's room, B113, after school to test your knowledge in a fun game atmosphere. Today, LC representatives will be coming to Belzer to sell orange leaf frozen yogurt. The proceeds go to Riley Children's Hospital. Save up some money to buy a treat at lunch for today. Each serving is $3. There will be another fundraiser this Wednesday. The day many of you have been asking for, it is Chick-fil-A Day. Their sandwiches will be sold at lunches on the 2nd for three fifty. Proceeds go to our United Way campaign. The book fair is coming to Belzer November 7th through the 11th during the school day. More information will be given. Elsie's Drama Department is presenting their fall play this Thursday through Saturday at 7 p.m. each night. The play is titled The Lady of the House. Tickets are $6 in advance or $8 at the door. Miss Stewart will host a meeting on this Thursday at 7.30 p.m. in the LGI room for any students interested in a trip to Paris, Normandy, and London. If you are interested, please plan on attending with an adult. Here's today's interesting fact. 
Halloween is believed to have started over 6,000 years ago. Today's celebrity birthday is Willow Smith, known for Whip My Hair. She will be turning 16 years old. On this day in history, in 1950, Earl Lloyd became the first African American to play in the NBA. Our quote of the day is from an unknown author who once said, When black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam, may luck be yours on Halloween. Here are some bullying videos for you to enjoy. Have a candy-filled Halloween, Bruins! The most dangerous neighborhood is between your two ears. The self-harm comes from not having a way to get it out of that neighborhood. I think it's the silence about it that can create a, a, a bigger situation. Talk to someone. Never think that you can handle your problem on your own. Talk to someone. Talk to your family member. Talk to your brother. Anyone can help you. Do not be afraid to talk. Whatever is happening to you, speak up and go tell someone. A parent or a teacher or a coach. Talk to somebody. Because you build it, build it, build it. It's the worst thing ever. That was my issue for many years, keeping it closed inside. Don't be afraid to share it because there are people out there that will hear you and will listen and can help. I can't even stress that enough how important it is that it's okay to go and get help. It's just so important to express your feelings. You know, as you get older, you realize if you're having a real bad day, you can talk to somebody. If you want it to stop, then like you have to tell an adult or a parent or a teacher or a principal or anybody. If you really feel like you can't talk to your mom and dad at home or whoever is your caregiver, Maybe you have a brother, an older brother, or a sibling, or somebody that's older that you connect with. Please talk to them and tell them and just say, listen, this person is threatening me and I don't know what to do. Rumors spread like wildfire. It's ridiculous like how they just get out there in a matter of no time. We get so used to this whole, I don't wanna like talk badly about him, but did you hear that? Like, oh my God. Even if it's just between like you and your best friend or something, you might not think it's true, but in talking about it, it might be making your best friend think it's true. There are two sides to every story. A rumor is one side. So if you're a smart person, you're gonna investigate what the other side of the story is. If the rumor was about you, I mean, it would probably make you feel very powerless, so you can imagine how the person who the rumor is about, you can imagine how they feel. Down the line, the chain line of gossip, if, if every fifth person stopped it and said, whoa, 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 where'd you hear that? That's not true. It might dissipate the power of it. Confronting a situation and discussing it can be very, very productive because a lot of it, a lot of things are, uh, a lot of problems happen because of miscommunication as well. It's hard to intervene in those situations for sure, but I've learned that those hard conversations are the best conversations you can have. Say, you need to stop talking about this person. You don't know who they are. You don't know what they're going through. Step up and say, you know what, that is total BS. You know that's BS. I know this person, they're my friend. What you're saying is just completely made up. I will actually say, you know, that person's a friend of mine, and I really am not comfortable the way this conversation is going. And it just drops it right there. We find something else to talk about. Because if you're not gonna engage in it, where's it gonna go? 